Hi, I'm Tyler Lott Johnston, and we're here today to learn about technology within the construction industry. Technology is a little known aspect of what we do and is often a huge misconception. It's really great because it's one thing that we rely on heavily within our profession to gather information and perhaps even access to aspects of building that we don't normally get to easily. The two elements of technology that we're showing to you today is 3D scanning and thermal imaging. The importance of what we're doing is showing that we can diagnose structures, we can potentially diagnose problems, but then also scan information quite quickly and be able to know a little bit more about the buildings that we are in. A really important element of the technology that we are um, teaching about is actually accessibility. We're aware that there's a lot of technology out there and there's really cool gadgets and gizmos, but not everything is something that students can relate to. So we identify with small things that can be incorporated into everyday technology to really help them learn more about their environment. This is thermal imaging. As we have here, we have a few stones. It's really great to be able to do outside in real environments, but if not, we try and bring as much of that building inside for them to be able to learn about. This aspect, we just simply connect to the device and allow the students to take images themselves, and then they can really learn about the materials, their temperatures, and perhaps why things are showing the way that they're showing. Now, the students really love interacting with this technology and getting a hands-on experience with what they can do. Inevitably, they look around the building and, of course, look at themselves as well, which is really fun. But what we want to do is, again, bring some of that building directly to them. So we bring real-life examples of structures that have been um, photographed with thermal imaging to be able to help them understand what they're looking at. It's really great to try and quiz them, perhaps say, what do you think this is? What are you looking at? And maybe, why is this showing the way that it's showing? Okay, now, this is simulating rain, specifically driving rain. So that's the kind that penetrates into the building. One of the great aspects of allowing the students to have hands-on experience with the technology is allowing them to see themselves in this type of profession. Now, if someone's perhaps a little bit more tech-focused, they might not consider a career in construction, but we're allowing them to see real amazing job opportunities within the industry we serve. So one of the next elements of technology that we like to have the students experience is 3D scanning. By using a very simple device and allowing it to scan something in the area, per se, an architectural model, they can see what it's like in real time. So let's do it now. So in a few short minutes, we can gather a significant amount of information about what's been scanned, the model, and everything around it. They can then manipulate the image to see different aspects, zoom in, zoom out, even go upside down. And from that, they learn about how this image can be exported into different types of software, including CAD, and how that can then go on to create sketches, 3D models, and even more. Oh, can I take a photo? Um, yeah. Here. Before... Let's do it before we do. Yeah, I have a photo. Yeah. <laughs>